a joy it is this morning to be here and to witness another manifestation of God's goodness and his amazing grace. This morning you are among the blessed if you're still with us because there are those who assembled themselves or were in some place on last Sunday, uh, but they're not here today. And so if you're here, you are among the blessed. We thank God for allowing us to be able to come into your homes through virtual church and to still share the word of God. The word of God is so precious. The word of God is so needed in times like these. And we thank God for giving us his word that becomes a lamp to our feet and a light along life pathway. We're praying this morning and we are cognizant of the fact that it is because of him this morning that we live, we move, and we have our very very being. It is my sincere prayer this morning that all of us will prosper, be in good health as our souls prosper in the midst of this uh, pandemic. Let me remind you this morning that this too, amen, shall pass. Uh, it, it, it came uh, to pass, it didn't come to last. We're going to get through this uh, together. I want to take time out this morning to thank all of those that have been a part of this virtual church, but also, also those who are coming out to the building, a few of us to put our voices together, blend those voices together, be a blessing to you, to those that are live streaming and those that are YouTube. I am so grateful for all of you this morning, for your presence, and we thank you for the uplifting spirit that you have and encouraging uh, our members who are, are watching via uh, YouTube or via uh, live stream. Let me also encourage us as a people, especially the West Oak Grove family, to be ever so cautious today as we go out among uh, different ones. We want to encourage you to uh, wear your mask. We want to encourage you to not only protect yourself from others, but also others will be protected from you as you wear your mask. There are times when we take them off, we are in an environment that we think positive, but let's use good wisdom. And as old folk used to say, let's just use some good old, amen, common, common sense. And so we want to encourage you to stay safe. And we will come back together. I'm not uh, worried about that. We will come together physically. But let's enjoy this different type and style of worship that God has granted us to be able to still communicate and to see each other. What a joy it is to be able to uh, to come to you this morning uh, through virtual church. And I'm thanking God often for this challenge that he has given to me uh, to do things differently and to be a blessing in your life. We're going to begin now our worship service here at West Oak Grove. We're turning over to our devotional team. Amen. Let's have a great time in the Lord. I keep falling in love with it over and over and over and over again. And I keep falling in love with it over and over and over and over again. And he gets sweeter and sweeter as the days go by. Oh, what a love, what a love between my Savior and Falling in love with him over, over 
separate us from the love of Christ. So tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword. As it is written, for my sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors to him that loved us. I have just read Romans 8, 35 through 37. Let us go to God in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you for allowing us to see that day was not promised, Lord. Thank you for allowing us to wake up and put one foot in front of the other, Lord. Lord, thank you for just everything you've done in our lives, Lord. Everything that you will be doing, Lord. Just be with this world right now as a whole as we go through this pandemic. That we keep the faith in you, Lord, and we don't look and we don't look away from you, Lord. Just be with us, bless God, and keep us. And also be with the minister today as you bring us a word from the word that it may bless us. And Lord, just be with everybody. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
my children say amen. What a blessing to know that the Lord is still reigning in our, in our lives. We're so grateful for this morning the blessings of this life and the blessings of our Heavenly Father. We thank Sebo so much for lifting our spirit with those souls. We're grateful to Malik and also Preston for our yes. devotion of prayer and, yes. and yes. scripture. Yes. This morning, what a joy, what an honor it is to be able to come to you uh, through live streaming and through YouTube, as many call it virtual, virtual church. And what a, what a great time to be living to where we can uh, be out of the box, uh, doing things a little differently than we typically would do. That lets me know and it continues to remind me of how amazing and how awesome God is and how he's going to get his glory. Amen, no Amen. matter what. Yeah. And so we want to be ever so grateful and ever so thankful to a God who can do anything in our lives but fail us. And if there's one thing our Lord and Savior is going to get from his people, and that is glory, honor, and praise. Now, if you don't enjoy praise down here, you're really going to have a hard time when we get to heaven. Because worship is what we're going to do. And we're going to praise him 24-7, giving him what he truly uh, deserves. I want to challenge you this morning. I want to encourage you this morning. I want you to be of good faith and good cheer because God is still on our side. This morning it was read in Romans chapter 8, and I want to focus in on verse number 37 this morning. And I won't hold you long, but we want to say a word to you. The Bible says, Nay, in all things, we're more than conquerors through Him that saved us. I want to just, just take from that particular verse, we are more, amen, than conquerors. We are more than conquerors through him, I like this, who loved us. To conquer is to be victorious over our adversaries. To be more than a conqueror means we not only achieve victory, but we are overwhelmingly victorious. If the final score of a basketball game is 142 to 6, we know that the opposition put up a fight. But there was no match for the victors. The win was beyond the scope of a regular victory. And so we that are children of God who claim Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we are more than conquerors. We are not just conquerors, we are more than conquerors. There are many illustrations in the Old Testament of God bringing a miraculous victory to his people Israel. Humanly speaking, Israel is no match for their enemies. But God cautioned them not to be afraid that he would fight their battles for them. Exodus chapter 14 and 14 said, the Lord will fight for you. You will need only to be still. Yes. In times like these, this world that we're living in, where everybody is in a frenzy, what God is saying to many of us, just stand still. Yes. Just, just yes. be at peace. Yes. I am in control. Yes. The Lord told Jeremiah that he was bringing uh, enemies against, or armies against the rebellious Israelites as punishment for their disobedience. But even then, in Jeremiah 119, they were not overcome. The Bible said they will not overcome you, for I am with you yeah. and will rescue yeah. you. Yeah. The Bible said it declares the Lord. Yes. Sometimes even when we are not following the will of God, uh -huh. sometimes we are not doing what God expects of us to do, he still fights our battle. Yes. Our battle. He still takes care of us. He still loves us. In one instance, an entire army fled uh, their own camp when God, Lord have mercy, caused uh, them to hear the sound of the great armies coming. The famine-wracked Israelites 
were able to plunder only where they saved, where God saved them the opportunity to destroy their enemies. God destroyed their enemies all because God was God all by himself. Not only were they saved from an approaching army, but they were benefited. They actually benefited from the threat. Why were they benefited? Because we are more, more than conquerors. Satan really is our adversary. He sent all kind of life yes. uh, defeating yes. joy, yes. stealing attacks to threaten the well-being and the faith of God's children. Mm -hmm. Peter said he's like a roaring lion. He walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Yes. Many of those attacks are listed in Romans chapter 8. Our text this morning, how Satan attacks us in verse 35 through verse number 39. We are troubled. Hardship, persecution, famine, yeah. nakedness, yeah. and so on. In other words, we that are children of God, knowing that we are more than conquerors, the devil is going to throw all kinds of opposition, yes, all kinds of challenges, all kinds of hardship in our lives. But if we have the love of God, mm -hmm. if we love God and God loves us, when we put our faith solely in Him, we are more. Yeah, we are more than conquerors. Paul is encouraging us to stand firm in our faith when those attacks come, and they will become, will come rather, reminding us that not only will we win in the end, but Jesus enables us uh, to win right now. Not only will we win later, but we can win right now. Yes. Satan lacks the power to steal our eternal destiny and he cannot separate us from the love of God. Thank God for Jesus. That Satan cannot separate us from the love of God right now. Nothing we face worries God in any least. If we are his children through faith in his son, then we have his pledge of love and protection. So the devil can't do me no harm. Because I have God's protection in times like these. We are more than conquerors. Don't settle for just being a conqueror, but settle for being overwhelmingly yes. victorious in our situation. Why? Because God is with us through his son Jesus. Yes. Nothing we face worry with God in any of If we are his children through faith in his son, then we have the pledge of love and protection. In John chapter 10, verse number 27, Jesus said, My sheep, listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father has given them to me. It's greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. Listen, to be more than a comfort. To be more than a conqueror means we face the trials of life with the certainty that we are not alone. Y'all didn't hear me. I said to be more than a conqueror means we face the trials yeah. of life with the certainty that we are not alone. What a wonderful thought to know that in the midst of my trial, in the midst of my challenge, in the midst of my situation, I am never alone. We have a mighty Father who fights for us. We approach the dark valley with confidence, knowing that nothing can happen to us that is not permitted by our loving Father for our good. Uh -huh. I believe, I believe the psalmist said it right in Psalm chapter 23 and verse number 48, Lord. I walk through the valleys and the shadows of death. Watch this, I will fear no evil. Why? For thou art with me, thy rod and thy and thy staff, they they comfort me. Titus chapter one and verse number two says, "In hope of eternal life, which God, with God, or which God rather that cannot lie, promised before the world began, eternal promises that God will be with us in the midst of our challenging time." But I know for a fact that even though in the midst of this. Coronavirus, the Lord is with me. Yes, sir. The Lord has never left me. Why? Because I am a part of the sheep family. 
and that sheep hears his voice and he knows his sheep and the sheep knows him and nobody can pluck him out of his hands. I know the Lord. Not only do I know the Lord, the Lord, Lord have mercy, the Lord knows me. And what a wonderful thought, what a wonderful mind to have that God knows me because I know him. Oh, we have his promise of eternal life. John 6, 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, watch this, but have everlasting life. I need to tell you this morning, the fight is fixed. All you got to do is just get in the fight. Don't run from the fight. Don't run from the opponent. Get in the fight because the fight is fixed. Jesus took the steam out of death. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for being better to us than we are to ourselves. He has promised us eternal life and the presence of Almighty God every moment of every day until we see Him face to face. We have God's promise and we have God's presence. He's with me. Yes. He's with you. We have His promise. First John 5, 11, and this is the record. That God has given unto us eternal life, and this is in His Son. Everything is wrapped up in Jesus. Jesus. Yes. If you want the Father, you got to have Jesus. Yes. If you want eternal life, you got to have Jesus. If you're going to be saved, you got to have Jesus. If you want the good life, you got to have Jesus. If you want peace of mind, you got to have Jesus. If you want joy that coming in the morning, you must have Jesus. Yes, if you have want peace of mind this morning, you must. Have Jesus. Yes. What a wonderful thought. What a wonderful thought to know that not only do I have his promise that I have eternal life, I have his presence which says he's always with me. Oh, I like uh, what the psalmist said in Psalm 139, verse 7 through 12. Whether shall I go from thy spirit? Or whether shall I flee from thy presence? Verse 8 says, If I ascend up into the heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, the whole thou art there. Yes. If I take the wings of the morning, well, yeah. in those parts of yeah. the sea, even thou shalt thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. Say, surely, surely. if I say, surely, surely. The darkness shall cover me, even yeah. the night shall be light about me, and darkness will hide it not from thee. Why? Because he is God. Yeah. But night shineth as day. The darkness and the light are both a light to thee. In other words, God can see just as good in the light as he can in the dark. Yes, he can see just as good in the dark as he can in the light. Why? Because God is present everywhere. Thank you, Jesus. The Hebrew writer said it like this. Hebrews 13 and verse number 5. Let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as we have. For he has said, I will never, Lord have mercy, I will never leave thee. No, but I for safety. So bring it on. Shoot your best shot. Yes, sir. Because the Lord has promised and the Lord is present. So no weapon formed against me can prosper because I'm more than a conqueror. I like what Matthew said in Matthew 28 and verse number 20, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I've yes, commanded. Oh. And lo, I am with you. How long? Always. Even to the end yeah. of the world. So it doesn't make any difference what comes my way. As long as the Lord is present, as long as the Lord promises yeah. the truth, everything will be all right. Yes, Weeping may endure for the night, but you are listening. This coronavirus did not come to last. It's yeah. going to pass. Yeah. It's important for us to understand no sin of ours and no attempt of the enemy can steal the love of God from our lives. And that makes us more than conquerors through Christ who loved us. I said no sin. Because all have sin. Yes. But no sin of ours and no attempt of the enemy can steal the love, the loving care of God from our lives. You see, God doesn't love me because of who I am. God loves me because of who he is. And his love, care for me, never changes as long as I abide and be obedient to his will. 
So no sin of ours, no attempts of the enemy can steal the loving care of God from our life. And that makes us more than comfortable. How? Through Christ who loved us. How do you know Christ loved me? He died that I might live. He became poor that I might become rich. And even in the midst of this pandemic, I'm more than a conqueror because my hope is built on nothing less than in Jesus' love and righteousness. I dare not tell the sweetest frame, holy leading on Jesus' name. Yes, on Christ the solid rock, I stand all on the ground. And Satan said, because God loves me yes. way before I ever got here. But an awesome God. What a wonderful Savior who loved me and had love for me for the foundation of the world. Encourage your friend this week. Encourage yourself this week. Go to Romans chapter 5, it's Romans chapter 8, brother, and read all of it. And be blessed to know that nothing will separate you. That was the question. What will separate you from the love of God? Nothing will separate me. He's done too much. Yes, sir. I said, nothing separates me from the love of Christ because that's my avenue to heaven. I can't get to the Father unless I go through Jesus. But just look at it. I mean, for all of these tribulations, Paul said, no, no, nothing shall separate me no. from the love of Christ. Thank God for Jesus' love. Yes. That he died for me right now. I don't know where you are this morning. Maybe you're feeling defeated, but you are a conqueror. No, you're not a conqueror. You're more than a conqueror. Realign yourself, realign your faith with a God who can do anything in your life but fail you. Give him another chance, give him another chance, and another chance, and another chance. Yeah. Give it to him, and he'll make everything right up from your path. Yeah. You're out there and you stand in need of prayer, you can ask for prayer. If you're not a member of the body of Christ, the church of Christ, then you, you need to hear the gospel. You need to believe that with all of your heart and you need to repent of all of your sins. We want to confess Christ to be God's Son. We want to be baptized in water for the remission of your sin. If that be your desire, all you have to do is call 901-489-2604. And we'll make preparations to bless you and to baptize you. You rise to walk in the newness of life. There may be some out there just need prayer. Uh, so maybe, I don't know what's going on in your world, but maybe you just need prayer. Maybe uh, your family's struggling or you are struggling and you just need strength. You can also Call in for prayer, or you can go on our live stream and just, just just make that known, and we'll pray over your situation. I don't know what's happening in your world, but the Lord knows. If there's sin in your life, ask God to forgive you, and ask the church to pray with you. This may be the last time you get a chance to hear a word from the Word. It's so needful, it's so necessary yes. for your spiritual future. Yes. If you make Jesus the captain. Of your life. Won't you come? Without you, Lord. Without you, Lord. I can make no, 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 no. Without you, Lord. Without you, Lord. Without you, Lord. No. Thank mm -hmm. you.
this world. Uh, I'm standing this morning asking prayers for my parents as they do not feel in their bed, and uh, for all of my siblings, and especially my daughter and all of my children, especially Victoria, who now is going to have surgery on June 3rd. And please pray that everything will go well for her. Let's pray together. Eternal God, our Father, we thank you so much for your loving kindness and being ever so good to us. How excellent, Lord, is your name in all the earth. The earth is full of your glory. We are weak, Father, but you are strong. So we lean and we depend upon you. We ask your blessings upon Sister Ward and her family, uh, her daughter Vicki, who will be having surgery, as well as her mom and dad who's ill this morning, to strengthen that family and your wall of protection about them. Thank you so much for Sister Stephanie, who's doing on behalf of her family. Uh, Calvin, uh, uh, Calvin Hill and the family, Father, just bless that family. Uh, bless the whole Hill family, Father. Yeah. Bless them. Thank you so much, Sister Stephanie, Father, and her faithfulness not only to Western world, but to you, Father. Yeah. Pray that you give her good health. We thank you so much, Brother Seba and Rance, this morning. We ask for for his mom and her health. We pray, God, that you would just bless her body and strengthen the Father. And just, and just whatever the case may be, Father, just hold her in that situation in the bones. Uh, of your very, very hand, Father. We ask a special prayer for one of our oldest members here in West Oak Road, Sister Thelma Craig. Yes. As you continue blessing upon her life, upon her body, just strengthen it as only yes. you can. God, we, we love you, we adore you, the truth of the matter, we cannot make it without you. Thank you for Jesus, thank you for the cross, thank you for the blood, and thank you for resurrection, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And thank God. As we prepare our hearts and our minds for uh, the collection, the Bible talks about even more blessing to give than it is to receive. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 9, beginning with verse number 6, the Bible says, With this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly. He which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according as his purpose in his heart. So let him give, not grudgingly of all of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. The Bible says, and God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye always, having all sufficiency in all things, may abound to every good work. One writer said, give, and it shall be given unto you. Good marriages pressed down, shaken together, running over, shall men give. We're grateful to all of the saints of West Oak Grove who are still giving and making a difference in the life of West Oak Grove. The responsibilities are being met and we thank God for giving as a part of our worship. And we thank you for your gift and we thank you for your worship. God bless you. We're also commanded to commune, to commemorate the day that Jesus Die that we might live. He paid a debt that he did not owe. That we owe the debt that we could not pay. He gave up his life to become poor that we might become, become rich. We thank him for that day out on Calvary where he demonstrated the ultimate, the ultimate. I mean, the, the most challenging demonstration of what love looked like on the cross. He died in our place. One writer said, if I be lifted up, Christ, from the earth will draw all men unto me. So on this day, our minds go back to that day that he was lifted up. And men have been drawn ever since. The cause of the sacrifice he made on Calvary. They pierced him in his side. The Bible said, forward came blood and water. They, they beat him. They broke 
uh, flesh upon his body. So we take the bread to represent his broken body. We take of uh, uh, this uh, juice for uh, the commemoration and remembrance of the blood that he shed out on Calvary's cross. Shall we pray? Our Father, we thank you so much for this, this privilege of being able to come together and thank you for doing for us what we could not do for ourselves. Pray the Father, we take of the bread and the juice, we take it in remembrance of you, that we take it with clean hands and pure hearts. We shall come again. In Jesus' name, amen. On Mount our Savior, Jesus spent the night in prayer. He's a pattern for us all.
at 7 o'clock. We had a great time on last uh, Wednesday. We look forward to it again on this coming Wednesday. Also, uh, the young adult had a wonderful, I believe it was Friday, uh, a devotion Thursday, a devotion on Thursday. And so we're hoping that, that will continue. And we're going to be uh, doing other things here real shortly. But we're planning, also planning to try to get back to the building in some kind of way as the government give us some ideas, as we give some ideas and we pray over it. Uh, as well, we want to make sure that we don't put anybody in harm's way. We certainly want to be able to fellowship, to touch, and agree with one another. Certainly, we thank uh, all of you for chiming in, uh, tuning in uh, to both the virtual church and, and YouTube. Uh, as we go about this week, let us keep Sister Craig in, in our prayers. Uh, she went in the hospital on, on Thursday of last week, and so we want to just uh, keep her in our prayers. Sister Craig is one of our oldest members, and so we want to keep her and that family uh, in our prayers. Victoria, we will be having the surgery. Sister Dolly and Ison having a procedure on Wednesday. So please let's keep those things in mind and in, and in, in our prayers. We thank uh, you for, for that. We're going to ask Sheba, if you will, in just a moment, to give us our dismissal song as well as the prayer. Uh, but when we leave this place, we pray that God's presence will stay with us. Yes. And we find our way back to our many places of war. We will have found things that we have left them. And we'll get all the glory. Also, uh, let's keep. Sister Heal in our prayers. Let's keep brother and sister uh, Heal, brother Jack and his wife, Sister Heal, uh, in our prayers on this. Uh, as we uh, have times and moments of prayer and reflection, so keep them in your daily prayers. We are praying that they are well uh, and uh, get better as well. Yeah. Let's keep them in our prayers. This time, Sister, would you come and give us our closing song? Thank you. I'm so glad that Jesus lifted me to know that I Thank you.